Hello to all my friends out there. So I drank all my chamomile tea and now I, I still want to enjoy life. And I want to enjoy life while I'm making dinner. So I bought this Diet Coke caffeine free. I switch to caffeine free at night. And so I want a little snack because sometimes, you know, if you're really, really hungry and you're trying to cook, your food isn't going to come out. So in my stockpile, I stockpiled some tortilla chips. And these were in my half-eaten boxes. So uh, now is a good time to eat these because I have my leftover salsa that my son and his girlfriend brought me some Mexican food. And yummy, 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 I have some leftover uh, carrots, hot carrots. I eat everything eventually. Okay. So what I want to make is some ha some hot dog stew. Uh, one of the followers gave me the idea. She said fry hamburgers and the tater tots from Dollar Tree to make hash. And then on the one video that I dearly love is boondocking in Michigan, van cooking and showering. What she made is she made like a, um, she made like a hash. It was um, potatoes um, and it was onions. And then she bought some bread somewhere, some good looking bread. Here's my good looking bread. It's going in the oven. Okay, so so uh, what I noticed about a lot of people who do the van living, not all of them, but a lot of them are vegetarians. I don't know if they were vegetarians before or, but um, I don't want to be a vegetarian. Uh, I mean, I could be one, but um, I could get some good veggie meals. That would be fine if, you know, you want to do that. You could make a vegetarian. You could use anything in these hashes. But I'm baking my bread anyway. So, uh, you know, my bread's baking at 350. So I'll just um, roast my hash at 352 as well. So... <clears throat> You could use um, potatoes, you could use sweet potatoes, you could use all kinds of, any kind of vegetables that you had in this kind of stuff. And so what I did was I bought hot dogs at a 99 cent only. Uh, good hot dogs, you know, for 99 cents. So um, in the boondocking in Michigan video, what she was saying she does, she makes, uh, when she has food left over, she just keeps it and then uh, before the next meal, she eats it. I go, wow, that's a good idea. That's, that'd be a good idea, you know, anyway. And so I have a link. You can get to all these videos on my Twitter. I find that to be easiest. It's bad enough, you know, uh, listing all my own social media. So you can see this is going to make quite a bit of food. Uh, eating all your leftovers. So here's the hot dogs I bought for 99 cents, and I only needed two, so, you know, I put the rest in my baggies. I'm going to eat all of my um, chip, uh, not all my chips, all my salsa. So I bought this complete um, spice thing at uh, Dollar Tree, garlic, pepper, onion. So I'll just, you know, sprinkle a little of that on my... Uh, now, normally you would have onions, but I'm not a big onion fan. What is this? Okay, this was some pepper I bought that I really hated. So I go, yeah, this would be a good way to use up. This kind of stuff is a good way to use up 
you know, stuff like pep. This pepper is not my favorite, but it's pepper. And then uh, the main thing is I eat up everything, whether I like it or not. I don't care if I like it. Uh, let me show you something. My Jello using the speed method is good to go. Okay, and now, 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 brown cow, thank you for the comment. Where is my oil? Well, I can't find my oil, but guess what I can find? I can find this, and see how the oil is on the top? I bought six of these. I will just use this on my, uh, on my my hot dog and then I'll just roast this at the same oh you guys this tripod is a devil <laughs> okay So this is the first dinner of, what am I going to do about these EBT cutbacks? Well, you're going to come up with some cheap dinners. God forbid, God forbid. First of all, I don't think that they're going to radically reduce the, I mean, the people on um, food stamps are already pretty, um, you know, compromised. But just in case you are on food stamps, just make sure you could survive. Um, I bought two pounds of carrots for a dollar. I bought five pounds of um, potatoes for a uh, dollar. But at Smart and Final, they have like such cheap prices on gigantic bags of carrots and potatoes. And I would get a big bag of potatoes, a big bag of um, carrots, a big bag of onions. So you can have mashed potatoes, scalloped potatoes, potato soup, you know, uh, roasted carrots, uh, carrot bread. Uh, you know, you can make all kinds of things. And then these would have been good with onions. Okay, you guys, I'll be back.